Good morning, brothers and sisters. You know, this whole Christianity thing ain't what I was taught growing up. The Lord Jesus Christ, God sent his son, his only begotten son. God got up off his throne, lowered himself, put on flesh to come show us how to live. The church, everybody in that church, all oh, praise Jesus, praise Jesus, praise Jesus. They're the first ones to put a knife in Jesus' back. I mean, really? Paul? Paul has changed the minds of the church? Oh, but we still trust Jesus. How come when a person says, trust Jesus and not Paul? How come that person is condemned to hell? No, this ain't about me. This is about every one of you Paulistas. Torah people, too. It's your place Torah with Paul, or Paul of Torah, however you want to do it. But the church will tell you, we better listen to Paul. Why not Jesus? Is he not your Savior? Is he not? Oh, he, he didn't come for us. So you're admitting Jesus ain't your Savior? Yeah, but yeah, Paul's my Savior. No, 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 I, I said that wrong. Paul's the doctor. Jesus is the Savior. So Jesus needs a middleman. Jesus couldn't speak the doctor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jesus gave him the doctor. Who says? Paul did. Paul. 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 Paul says. He saw Jesus in the desert. Well, how come Matthew 24, 26 says, anybody says they saw me in the desert, they're liars. Oh, that wasn't about that event. Everything you say is in defense of Paul. Well, Jesus didn't mean that. You just don't understand Jesus. you got to understand Paul to understand Jesus. I understand Paul very well. Yes, you need to understand Paul. Or do you understand Paul? Do you? Do you know in your heart? Because there's some reason you're condemning people. Oh, <coughs> been told what I believe is from the devil himself. What I believe is from the devil himself. Since one of the devil's words read, John, Matthew, Luke, and Mark, since when are the devil's words read? You people don't love God. You don't. You love the idea. You love the fantasy of God. But your one true love is Paul and yourself. You people claim I'm self-righteous? No. No, there's nothing for me to be self-righteous about. I'm striving so that the Father may find me worthy. You sit there and say, ah, Yep, when I die, God has to take me. If he don't, he's a devil. Because I said the Lord's name one time. And I said one word one time. So therefore, the Lord has to take me. That's what Paul says. That's what Paul says. That's what Paul says. What about the Lord Jesus? Well, he was just to the Jews. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Well, yeah, he says he came just for the Jews. So, who is your Savior? Jesus. How can it be your Savior? He came just for the Jews. Jesus can't be your Savior. You said Jesus came just for the Jews. Yet, you're going to sit there and claim him as your Savior. How? Are you Jewish? Are you Jewish? If Jesus came only for the Jews, and you admit that with your own mouth, mind, and heart, you admit Jesus didn't come for you. Jesus came for me. He came for you. He came for my son. He came for my neighbors. He came for the world. But yet, you chose to follow Paul's doctrine. Oh, he's for the Gentiles. This is what I can't wrap my head around. Before the world began, God had a plan for Gentiles, Jews, Samaritan, Gentiles, Samaritan, same one. God's plan was for all people. Yeah, but he had to use Paul, so Jesus wasn't equipped. For Gentiles, no, he said he didn't come for the Gentiles. But he didn't come for the Gentiles. Why was he saving Gentiles? Why were Gentiles flocking to him? 
parable of the two sons. The landowner had two sons. He asked one to go out and work in the field. No. Gentiles, they followed the different gods. Jews, yeah, we'll do it. They didn't go. Who changed their mind? The Gentiles. So if the Lord Jesus came for all people, and you exclude Gentiles from all people, what species is Gentiles? Because Lord Jesus came to save all mankind with his word the Lord God gave him. But you're going to sit there and, and justify a man lying, justify a man stealing, justify a man killing, justify a man blaspheming, justify a man ridiculing, mocking, and degrading people. That's the modern day church. Go look in the mirror. Go look in the mirror, people. You sit there with your mouth, with your mouth, your heart, and your mind, and body and soul, and say, Jesus didn't come for you. He came just for the Jews. That right there is denying Jesus Christ. If you condemn somebody for telling you to listen to Jesus Christ and no one else, oh, but you got to listen to Paul. If you don't listen to Paul, you ain't getting saved. Explain. Explain. If I don't believe Paul is true, I'm not saved. What does the Lord Jesus say? Does the Lord Jesus say, if you don't believe Paul that will come after me, you can't be saved. You have to believe Paul who comes after me or you're not saved. That's not what Jesus said. Jesus said, believe on me. Follow my teachings. You know why? Because Jesus removes that sin you love. Jesus removes the sin you love. Oh, well, you can't go through a day without sinning. Can't you? I can if I stay away from you people. You people cause strife. You people cause contention. You people condemn somebody for trusting the Lord Jesus Christ that his spoken word. Well, you're not a Jew. I don't care. I'm a human being. I'm a child of God. If you don't listen to work, Lord, the words, words of the Lord Jesus Christ, you deny him. Well, you just don't understand Paul. Oh, you just don't understand Jesus. You don't understand Jesus. Don't give me that crap. You tell me I have to trust Paul. That's not what my God said. Every single one of you Paulistas have denied the Lord Jesus Christ. By saying he is not the way. Paul's the way. That's not what I'm saying. How come I'm getting condemned for promoting the gospel of Jesus Christ talk? Because you're, you're, you're wrong. I'm wrong? So if I'm wrong for promoting the Lord Jesus Christ gospel, if I'm wrong for telling you to follow the Lord Jesus because he said so, am I really wrong? Or is Jesus wrong? You may get to say, oh, you're wrong. Jesus ain't wrong. Well, why, why are you following Paul? Because he's the one that came for the Gentiles. So, Isaiah 49, 6 is about Paul. The Old Testament prophets wrote about Paul. The light to the Gentiles. Oh, no, that's Jesus. Well, how can you have two lights? There's one light. One light. Lord, please calm my flesh down, keep my flesh out of it. Y'all don't want nothing to do with Jesus, and that's by your own admission. I can't get none of you devils to sit down peacefully and talk. Paul, Paul's awake. You tell me I'm listening to Satan. The very red words you condemn me for. But yet, oh, you love Jesus' words. There's so much truth in them. So much. So much. How much is so much? Everything Jesus spoke is true. But yet, you go, well, I'll tell you what your problem is, Paul's awake. You want your name to be synonymous with the most powerful man in the Bible, Paul. That's your problem. You want your name on Mark with excellence. Kind of hard to be marked as excellence when you're in hell. Is that name 
mean more to you than the Lord Jesus Christ? And fellas yesterday, blatantly denying the fact Paul lied. Blatantly denying the fact Paul openly contradicted Jesus. They don't care. They overlook Paul's lies, Paul's deception, and Paul's contradictions to condemn somebody for trying to show them. And it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. It makes me mad. Because the Lord Jesus took butt whoopings that you deserve. Oh, yeah, but <sighs> now I can sit back and do as I want because Jesus said, I just say his name and I'm saved. Did Jesus say that? Did Jesus say that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus said that. Jesus said, I just got to call him his name. Really? Really? All you got to do is say, Jesus Christ, you're son of God, and you're saved. You got to believe it in your heart, too. Mm -hmm. Matthew 4, 3, 6, and 9. Legion. All the demon-possessed people. Thou art the Christ, the son of the most high God. What do you have to do with us, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? Are you here to torment us already before the time has come? The devil knows. The devil confesses with his heart, with his mouth. He knows in his heart the Lord Jesus was resurrected. And you can show the police as that verse. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Show them the red words. Lord Jesus says, not everybody who calls on me shall, says, Lord, Lord, shall be saved. Well, Jesus is just wrong because Paul said, anybody, I called on your name, Lord, so you have to take me. If you don't take me, I'm going to tell Paul. The Lord will send you to hell to tell him. you really going to deny Lord Jesus Christ over Paul? Yeah, but Lord changed his heart. He had a thorn in his side. Lord Jesus says you can't get figs from thistles, grapes from thorns. Oh, that ain't what he meant. Of course, of course. Jesus never spoke against evil. Paul done. That's right. Paul was God. We got that admission yesterday too. When they see Paul, they see God. This is the saddest days I've ever experienced in my life. You know, I was willing to go to my grave be on my deathbed have my wife look me in the eyes and tell me I never loved I've hated you for so long I was ready for that I was prepared for that you know what I was going to say I know but I made a pact with God and I'm not going to break it I was willing to go to my deathbed my last breath to look in my wife's eyes to have her tell me she's hated me for years and I was fine with it you people can't do that. You gotta be loved. You gotta have an adoration from people. But what hurts the most is when somebody just up stabs you in the back and leaves you. Same thing you did to the Lord Jesus Christ. You stabbed him in the back and left him. Because you're gonna be on your deathbed. Are you gonna tell Jesus? Are you gonna what are you going to do? You on your deathbed. Are you going to cry out to Paul? Oh, Paul, come save me. Or are you going to cry out to Jesus? Well, while you're alive and breathing, healthy, shouldn't you do that now? Shouldn't you cry out to Jesus now? No, you got to call Paul. you got to call Paul because he's your God and Savior. You admit that. You look at Paul, you see God. The red letters are from Satan. The doctrine, I believe, is from Satan himself. Ain't that right, Paul's wake? All you people that's condemned me for repeating the words of the Lord Jesus Christ, he told me y'all would. I didn't believe him. I didn't believe Jesus. I said, there ain't no way. I was thinking, there ain't how? I found out how. I found out how. I found out Lord Jesus told the truth. Y'all hate Anything to do with the Lord. Don't sit there and say you love the Lord when you're condemning somebody 
They're telling you to follow the Lord. Walk away from Paul and follow the Lord. You people hate that. You hate that with a passion. You hate that with such a passion, you condemn the very person to hell because you hate what they say. The only, the only thing they're saying is repeating the words that Jesus Christ spoke. Jesus Christ is very simple to understand. He made it so simple children can figure it out. But yet, we got prideful adults. All of their man taught education and knowledge that puffs them up, that makes them smarter than the world, that makes them, they outgrew God. That's how it is. Oh, you just don't understand. You just got to grow as a Christian before you understand. So, Paul is for the seasoned Christian. Jesus is for the children. Well, you said he had, you had to come as a kid. Yeah. You do, and you got to remain as a child. But you're going to sit there, and with your very own mouth, because from the mouth doth the heart speak, and say, Jesus did not come for you. Jesus is not the Savior for the Gentiles. Well, yeah, I'll say he is the Savior of the Gentiles. His gospel goes for the Jews, goes for the Samaritans, goes for the Canaanites, goes for the Egyptians, goes for the Syrians, goes for the Asians, goes for the Muslims, goes for the Christians that follow Paul. But y'all choose to follow another. I never thought that was possible. I was once following Paul. I was defending Paul. But once God, Lord, opened my eyes, all these loving Christian brothers and sisters, poof, vanished, condemning me to hell. They'll come back and condemn me to hell. I don't talk to them. I'd like to, but they won't. Because the first thing out of their mouth, you're lost. You're listening to Satan. As I read the red words in John, Matthew, Luke. As I read the red words in John, Matthew, Luke, and Mark, they tell me I'm listening to the devil. Oh yeah, well the devil's twisting Jesus' words. You, you got to listen to Paul to understand Jesus. No. No. I listen to Jesus to understand Jesus. Do you download instructions on changing a cam for a small block Chevrolet? when you're trying to work on a computer? Why would you go to another source to learn about eternity? When the great God Almighty himself come down to show us and tell us? Well, oh, that's just for the Jews, so you don't have to live like Jesus. No, no. All I gotta do is say one word and Jesus has to take me. You self-righteous heathen. You think God has to accept you because you said a word. Well, He'll either accept you on his right or on his left. If you're following another gospel, buckle up. Dress for warm weather. Why can't you people understand God? Oh, you understand Paul? Yeah, Paul is of the world. People love Paul. The world loves Paul. Hmm. Did somebody in scripture say anything about being loved by the world? The world loves Paul. Because he's of the world. If he was not of the world, as Jesus was, they would hate and despise his word, as the church does. I'm tired of this. I want to walk away. I'm so sick of you people. But the Lord God... As when you're doing this, humbly, following his will. Yeah, I want to walk away, but it's not my will to be done. I'm trying to help brothers and sisters. I say that humbly. I know, I know, I know. I'm a child of the devil. I listen to the devil. You Paulistas know it all. Because Paul has given you the right to live in sin. Oh, we know an idol is nothing, so eat. Ah, oh, yeah, your marriage, go out and live like you ain't. Women, you better listen. There's a law for you. Men, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Men, there's no law for you. Women, you keep your mouth shut. I don't want to hear it from you. No, no. 
unless you're a Jezebel whore, then I'll let you lead a church. Y'all, y'all have been indoctrinated by the devil. You deny everything Jesus. Oh, I didn't what Jesus meant. Who told you that, Paul? Paul, Paul, Paul said that's not what Jesus meant. Not in words, but Paul explained it better. Oh, so Paul explained it better than God. Lord, please open the hearts and minds of the world. Y'all lost. I say it humbly. I say it honestly. If y'all were serious, y'all would have the human dignity and compassion and humility to sit down and talk and answer questions. Don't tell me when Paul says he lied. Oh, that's just hypothetical. Why is he saying he's judged as a sinner? He should have said, if I lied, why should I be? Why am I be? Two different words. People calling me stupid. You Christians. You Christians. Calling me stupid. I'm too stupid to understand because how I sound and talk and spell. Really? Is that what Jesus told you to do? Did Jesus tell you to try to be little people because they're a little bit slow. Why don't we go out and build a house? Why don't we go out and start building a car? Why don't we work on something and see who's stupid? I'm not going to call you stupid. I'm going to try to help you. I'm not going to sit there and say you're too stupid to even breathe. I ain't hurt well, pretty much. I'm too stupid to understand God. So I better listen to Paul. Oh, I'm too stupid to understand Paul too. And this ain't about me. It's about what I've been hearing. Place anybody in my seat. Anybody. And you'll say the same thing. Jesus Christ could stand in front of you and say, that's not what I said. And you'll say, I don't care. Paul said this. You will. You will argue with God in two or three more verses. You will stand before God and say, no, Lord. I said your name, and I believe it. Just think, what will he say? Well, why didn't you act like it? Why do you tell people they're stupid for telling them, for telling you to follow me? Now, let's put on a mock court case. That was partly it. Lord, in my defense, all I had to do was say your word, your name, and believe it in my heart, and you have to take me. That's all it has to be said. So I don't know what you're talking about. You're saying I'm not worthy. I said your name, God. I said your son's name one time. And then I told everybody how stupid they were for not trusting that. And the Lord might turn around and say, you know, the judge, you know. Oh, have you ever read my word? Yeah, you said all I got to do is say your name and I'm saved. That's all I got to do, Lord, and I don't care. That's what I have to do, and you have to take me. What's the Lord going to tell you? Welcome home, my child. Or I never knew you. Oh, he won't tell me that. Who's he telling that? Is he telling people like me that because I don't trust Paul? Christian world, I see the Lord's words living out of the act, react, out of the reactions of those who profess Christ. Are you showing the love of Christ by telling me I'm stupid? By telling me how lost and dumb I am? Oh yeah, I love you. That's why I'm trying to get you to turn around and come to Paul. I found Jesus. I found Jesus. Jesus. And you're trying to turn me from that. Well, yeah, Paul's the better way. In your heart.